Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He sends this one deep. He makes it to the 15-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. off to the left and they wrestle him down behind the line. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. From their own 14-yard line, it's second down. He scrambled. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Fires it out. They'll bring him down at the 21. Terry picks up seven yards with that catch. Stokes to punt. Right fields it at the 37. Brought down at the 48-yard line. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. They make the stop at the 38-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. From the 38-yard line, it's first down. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. That makes it second and six. Throws a bullet over the middle. Tackle at the 22-yard line. Fullbacks do a lot of dirty work throughout a game, so it's nice to call their number once in a while and let them make something happen. He made a nice catch there for a solid game. From the 22-yard line, first down. And he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. They push him out at the 13. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Quick pass. Touchdown, Florida! And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 48-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. The Gators are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Just throws this one away.
from their own 26 yard line. Second down. Caught out in the open. He's tackled right around the 34. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. From their own 36 yard line. First down. Joiner takes the give, and he's taken down around the 37-yard line. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. They'll line it up again on third down. Here we go. He's out of bounds around the 40-yard line. Stokes is waiting for the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Florida is up by a touchdown. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Empty backfield. Gets to about the 41-yard line. He didn't get much, but he got enough for the first down. Well, that's really all they wanted there was to pick up the first down and get a fresh set of downs and continue to move the ball downfield. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Fires quickly to the tight end. Out of bounds, around the 47-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Two times, two times. Go down, go down. Mike five, Mike five. Brought down, around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line. First down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's finally shoved out at the 13-yard line. You know, I think that time, Brad, the defense tipped their hand with the blitz. You could really see the blitz was coming. And when an offense at this level knows that there's pressure coming, they can make the proper adjustments and then put those wide receivers in one-on-one -on -one opportunities against the defense. And when you blitz, you're really leaving yourself vulnerable to a big play against a, a good offense. Florida up seven points. Tackle made at about the five-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's hit and taken down. That makes it first and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive.
Touchdown, Gators! And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Florida's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 29. Runs right for a nice game. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. Wright is back deep to return. What a collision! The Gators really could have uh, overlooked this team today, I think, very easily, but they haven't done that so far. No, you can't take anybody too lightly, and they've obviously not done that. They come out of the gate today and really putting a lot of points up on the board. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 32-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's taken down at about the 45. Took him down hard. The Gators are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Excellent open field tackle. Second and seven, ball on the 30. Throws incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You've got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw.
throws incomplete. Broken up. Well defended that time. You're right. Great job here by the defender playing the ball, keeping his balance and getting in the way of that pass. Stokes is the punter. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Florida is taking no prisoners in this game so far, Herbie. Well, they've really exploited some one-on-one -on -one opportunities and came up with some big plays that eventually have led to those touchdowns. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 43-yard line. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 38. That brings him second and five. From the 38-yard line. Second down. He's scrambling. Jones gains around three yards on the scramble. Expected coming into this game, this one appears to be under control. 14 0 Gators. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Straight run, nothing going on there. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Tackled after a decent pickup. First down. at the 33. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 33. Throws it deep. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, makes it to the 22-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Play action. He's tackled in the open field. Well, the defense brought a lot of pressure, and that time they got burned. 
If you don't get to this quarterback on the blitz, you're giving him a ton of room to make a play. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebackers. That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Tackle at the 29. From the 32 yard line, second down. Keep 15, keep 15. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. Run, 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 run. And he's tackled at about the 31. Gain of one on the play. That makes it third. And this play is number eight on the drive. Good open field tackle. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 21-3, Florida. Stokes has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And they get nice yardage on that run. Second, three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Scrambling around. Slides down. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. First down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's at midfield. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. He's tackled at about the 41. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. First and 10. Ball on the 41. Has some daylight. He's at the 30, and they make the stop at the 28. He scrambled. And he's taken down at the 14. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 14. Under heavy pressure. Room around the corner. He'll run it again. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. 
that makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Florida! And he converts the extra point. Florida gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. Tackle at the 28-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Run play, and he'll lose yards. That was a loss of three yards. He's up second and 13. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Brought down at the 25. He's hit immediately. Wright is back deep to return the punt. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Two yard line. Second down. Florida up big right now in this one. And he just gets rid of it. Here's the halfback on the screen. Tackle made the 39-yard line. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. He's out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. This offense needs to start playing some emotional football. He's out to the 30, and down he goes at the 30. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 30. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense in getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. From their own 30-yard line, it's third down. Two. 
Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Man, the defense jumped all over that one. No chance to pick up the first down there. That'll make it fourth and ten. Stokes to punt. He's taken down at the 39. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Play fake and looking to run. He takes off. He's at midfield. He's taken down at the 45. That makes it first and 10. From the 45-yard line, first down. Florida looking to put this game away if they score here. He's got it with room to run. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Setting up blockers or running backs, got it on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. First down. And they push him out at the 20. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. He makes it out to about the five-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. We've got second and goal. Ball on the five. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. Three rushing touchdowns on the ground today for this young man. This guy's on pace to having one of those career games. This has been one heck of a ball game for this young man. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. I don't know what these guys have to do to get back on track, but they need to try something. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Looking for his man, incomplete. and he's hammered in the backfield. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Right, fields it at the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. 
The Gators are just cruising through this first half for be really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. They got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Steps up an E sack for a loss. Florida looking to add to this big lead here. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on their own 31. Here comes the pressure. Got a man. Watch out here. The 10. And he scores. Touchdown. He's already thrown for three scores. Defense better make some adjustments, and they need to make them now because this passing attack is making a highlight film right now. And he hits the PAT. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. This offense needs to start playing some emotional football. after a decent pickup. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Gators with a huge lead. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. I really hope you'll stick around and watch the second half of this game. During the second half, I expect Kirk Herbstreit to give us a comprehensive history of every playbook he's ever had in his entire football career dating back to Pee Wee. That would be infinitely more interesting than having to watch the second half of this blowout. <laughs> Definitely, uh, that would be probably more entertaining. We get on games all the time. They start to get out of hand. You got to empty the bucket. So, guys, back to you. Have some fun. Tell me something I don't know. These teams are pretty boring. Give me something from the human interest file, Brad Nessler. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. Really a lopsided ball game as we're just about set to start the second half. Copeland from the three. They'll bring him down at the 29. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives. And they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. Florida looking to build on this commanding lead here. Fires it quickly, and it falls incomplete. Well, that is a big hit by the defense there. Good job of timing up the hit, and he didn't get there too early for the pass interference. He waited till the receiver touched the football, and then he was able to dislodge the ball from the receiver. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, third down. Gets it out quickly, and he's tackled around the 36-yard line.
gets to about the 34-yard line. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 35. And he just gets rid of it. He's under pressure. They'll bring him down around the 47 yard line. From the 47 yard line. First down. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. There was some movement on the line. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. The penalty makes it second and 15. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. And here's the... Wait a minute, the upback's got it. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Caught with room to work. Tackle at the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. Florida with a commanding lead. And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. And they make the stop at the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. Mike five, Mike five. Brought down at the 47. down behind the line. And here's another third down. And he 
is drilled at the 42-yard line. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. And that's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. That's a great tackle at the 20-yard line. Now, I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 20. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made at the 40. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Inside. And down he goes at the 40 yard line. No that makes it second and 10. Roger, Roger. Four down, four down. 51 Mike. Mike 51. Let's go. Pressure coming. And that one's incomplete. A lot of shoving while the pass was in the air. Let's get the call. Defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. He's taken down at the 38-yard line. He's got his man across the middle. And he's tackled at the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, first down. Quick strike, and he drops it. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he tackles him hard at the 12. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 12 yard line. He rifles it. Tenth play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 28. Mike 28. Set. Wide 80. Wide. Motion, motion. Three, three, three. As a man, he'll lose big yards. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Four down, four down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Hey, here we go. Green 88. Green 88. Hot, hot, hot. 
Goes to the end zone. This one will fall incomplete. This guy's got to just feel awful dropping an easy interception in the end zone. The best thing that he could do now is go to his teammates and hope that they're able to get him back up and get ready to play that next play. The kick is up, and it's good. South Florida to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 23. The Bulls' defense really looked pathetic in that first half, Kirk, and now they're doing a nice job. Well, obviously, they've made some adjustments after the first half, and it's paid off for them. I think right now they're tuned in to what this offense is trying to do, and I think they're also just playing with a little bit more of a chip on their shoulder. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Ball is loose, fumble, and no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. He's on the run. Nice run to the outside. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Florida up big with a quick throw got it complete and he's out of bounds he makes it to the 45 yard line From their own 45-yard line. Second down. They hand it off. And they got him for a loss. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. the middle for a nice game. That makes it fourth and eight. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. He goes out of bounds at the 25. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He just gets rid of it. That's three down and one to go. The Gators are up big. Well, folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. Makes the grab past the marker, and he hits him hard at the 33. First and 10, ball on their own 33.
that he's tackled right away. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. Oh, and almost picked off. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Here's the eighth play of the series. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Fourth and long here after the sack. Stokes is the punter. the corner he gets out to about the 32 yard line both teams are playing out the stretch here you want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries Florida comes to the line they got a big advantage in this one pass is tipped away the defense needed that one how about the move here by this cornerback great play that time getting a hand on the football from their own 32-yard line. Second down. Here's a handoff up the middle and no room to run. Gets rid of it quickly and that was almost picked. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Catches it, and that's all. And for Weaver, he takes his receiving yardage total to 100. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 43-yard line. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Almost picked off. This is a very well coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 50 yard line. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. 
brings up third and ten. The ball pops free. It looks like the defensive tackle fell on the loose ball. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. What was most impressive is how he followed the play, and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at about the 31. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Florida in control. Excellent open field tackle. That's good for a game of seven yards. First down. Four down, four down. Finds the white. Finds the white. Man, Jack 80. Makes his way out to about the 15. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Caught with room to work. He gets hit out of bounds around the seven-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Rose, complete touchdown. Okay, so they've got this one well in hand. I think now is the time where you call off the dogs and stop airing it out. And he adds the extra point. So that's a five-play, 39-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Fielded at the four. At the 30. Tackle at the 33-yard line. The Gators have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. He throws. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Steps out of bounds around the 41-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. Right, awaiting the return. Fielded at the 19. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, he's putting up huge numbers, and I think you can go back and look at every throw that he's made. It's like a human highlight film in one football game. And the thing that stands out when you look at this video is the way he's been able to put the ball right on the money. Really, where only his receivers can make the catch. Time after time, he's made the throw to allow his receivers to make the catch and get upfield. He'll lead them out for another drive here, looking to add to his numbers and to their lead. 
They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Florida looking to add to this big lead here. He makes it to the 38-yard line. He's wrapped up for the sack. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. And he has it on the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. From the 44-yard line, it's first down. Just over two minutes in the game. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made at about the 25-yard line. From the 25-yard line, first down. And he's hit immediately. Number 25 brings him down at the 25-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Almost intercepted there. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. complete and he's hit right away. And he's hit immediately. From the 13 yard line. First down. And he's tackled at the 10. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second. This is the eighth play of this drive. Under a minute left in the game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of four yards. 
That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. He might have a chance. And he will score. Well, there's a touchdown that we really don't care about. This game is still well out of reach. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at the 18. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home, and Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservation. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receivers. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 18. Fires quickly to the tight end. And they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. team showed up strong today the other team unfortunately didn't show up at all Florida 56 South Florida 6 for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time